All right, slide seven. They say calculate the depth in the ocean at which the pressure is however many times normal atmospheric pressure. They give you normal atmospheric pressure and the acceleration of gravity, and they give you the density of seawater. They want the answer in units of meters. Okay, to solve this one, you are going to use the equation for pressure at depth, which will be P2 is equal to P1 plus rho times g times y1 minus y2, where this is really the y1 minus y2 is really just the height of the water column slash the depth of the water column. You take the difference between two points in the water, depending on where you're starting from, y1, where the pressure is at. So for us, in the ocean, uh, it's jammed up here. Oops, it's all the way. Okay, in the ocean, we're saying above sea level is Y1, and at some unknown Y1 down to the depths. This will be y2, and we want the pressure to here. I'm sorry, we have the pressure. We just want to know how far down this is when we're given a pressure. Excuse me, we're looking for just the depths. Okay, uh, straightforward. It says treat this P2 as three times the normal atmospheric pressure. So this will just be three times P1 or whatever number equals P1 plus rho G H. We're gonna get this height slash depth. I'll subtract P1 from both sides. This gives me two times the normal atmospheric pressure is equal to rho G H two times the normal atmospheric pressure divided by quantity rho times g and this will be your height in units of meters thank you for watching steady well